Hello, beautiful Sagittarius and friends. How are you today? Welcome. My name is Donna. This is Irish Donna Tarot. The messages from Spirit at this time about your person is that they think you are extraordinary, certainly beyond the ordinary. Your person is in this energy of wanting to kiss you. They want a transformation in your relationship. We see this beautiful butterfly. This person is very smitten with you. They feel as though you are the one for them. It is what it is. So we have a closed door here. So Sad, you're going to have to let me know you know, what that closed door is about because this is a message from your person that that feeling the world card the world card is a cycle so a cycle has ended in this relationship what we see sagittarius is the energy for you is that you're at a crossroads you need to make a decision um you may have a situation with uh, work or a lover that you have met at work or somebody who's just trying to approach you at work, but we get this really strong soulmate energy. So it's a powerful energy that is a part of this connection. So when we look at your person's thoughts, feelings, intentions, and actions, we're seeing that they think that they're very much in love with you. Absolutely. They think that they want to hold on to you. This person does not want to let you go. They see you as a soulmate. They see you as someone with whom they can confide and have fireside chats and someone that would be next to them, sleeping next to them. They can curl up around you. Look at that. It's almost like they're curling up around you in bed right now. Uh, but we see, look at these cards. We have the being left out in the cold, the Five of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, the Tower card, and the Fool card. So your person, is what I'm seeing here, is that their thoughts are that you've left them in the cold, that they did something that upset you, that there was an argument, and they want a new beginning with you. So when we look at this, it is what it is. They're trying to sort of wrap their head around the fact that you are their soulmate and they don't really know what to do about this. The power really is in your hands, right? I mean, nobody can force you to do anything. In their heart space, they feel that you are the one for them. You're the empress. They have fire in their belly. They really want to stand by your side. This person's very loyal. They're not going anywhere. This is uh, Leo energy. We have Leo. We have Cancer. We have Capricorn. We have Taurus. We have Taurus again. We have uh, Libra. We have Aries. Uh, Five of Cups is Scorpio energy. The Tower is uh, Mars energy. So the Fool card is Aquarius, and we have, again, this Mars energy twice with uh, Pisces energy. So when we look at this, you might be dealing with any of those signs or not. It's energy. But what we see here for you is this person has fire in their belly. They do not intend to take no for an answer. They know that you're going to make a decision. They're trying to wait patiently. They're in their head, man alive. Their heart and their head are feeling like they're having a collision, a crisis. Your person feels very devastated that they've ended the relationship, that they can't win you back. You are their happy place. You are their joy. They want to eat, drink, and be merry with you in their heart space. This is deep love, a sense of community, a sense that you are a fabric, a part of their lives that they can't really do without. And they, do, you know, they're, but they're resistant to hearing what you're saying. Your person is coming in as being sort of stubborn. They don't really want to see what you think that they have done to undermine the relationship. They know that they love you. They want you. They want to pet you and hold you. And, you know, you're not on board with something they're doing here. So I will clarify also. Let, well, let's do it now. Let's clarify this tower card. What did your person do? Sagittarius. Ah, oh, Three of Swords. Okay. Three of Swords energy. So your impression, whether it's accurate or not, but what they did was the question. Three of Swords is they had some sort of communication or interaction with somebody else you didn't like. And Wheel of Fortune. Okay. So I'm with a Wheel of Fortune in the upright position, I don't think that it was anything that was, um, you know, like 
cheating. I'm not seeing that. I don't even think this person would be capable of cheating with you, Sag. I feel as though they like you too much. But the Three of Swords can be um, friends. It can be in-laws. It can be mothers, sisters, family, children, ex-wives, somebody who, with whom they don't have a relationship, but they have a responsibility. It can be the random text from a co-worker who has a crush on them that you see and you hold them accountable and they may not be accountable for it. And that may be some of the resistance like hey look at you know that's my co-worker I don't know what to say I can't control what they do but you know you your person's in a pickle they're really hoping that you realize the truth of the matter they're hoping to have another chance with you with the wheel of fortune when the timing is right when we look at the energy of this wheel of fortune we also see that this person loves you I feel as if this this person loves you so much I'm not seeing any cards here that indicate that they would actually cheat on you but again take it as it resonates because if you've seen what you see and you you don't like what you see then you have to really um you know feel the feelings that you have and recognize where you're going to go with it at the very minimum you need clarification and you basically need proof what i'm getting for their intentions with you honey i'm home they want to marry you they see you as the fiery sexy queen of wands energy they have passion in their heart they intend to have a victory in love and they intend to put this crisis behind you um you know we i see a person who just intends to absolutely win you back they see you as their soulmate they see you as their life partner honey let's go to home depot let's you know redecorate the dining room what would you like but right now they are waiting for you very patiently but they're also planning for the future in terms of their actions, this person is very loyal. It's Taurus energy. We have Taurus twice. We have Cancer. Um, we have, you know, the the uh, Heart of Wands is Fire. That's Aries energy, Fire sign energy. Six of Wands is Leo. World card is Saturn, being very responsible with Aquarius. But the Nine of Cups has appeared twice, so your person is absolutely adores you. They feel that you are their wish fulfillment. Their fairy godmother or godfather came along and blessed them with you. And so they are acting upon that. They don't know what to do. They're juggling different ideas about how to work their way back into your heart uh, of trying to work through a difficult situation. The Spirit of Pentacles is the Father. This is a King of Pentacles twice so the king of pentacles is all about loyalty and passion and it's the daddy card i'm going to take care of you i'm going to buy you lovely gifts i'm going to provide a beautiful home so your person sagittarius is really not they're they're really um, this devil energy they're really stricken they're very obsessed they're obsessed with this three of swords card now for some of you this may be flipped around you may have rejected them for someone else and or you may simply be dating and they may have fallen in love hard with you they may be recognizing what they want with you and you may simply not be in the same uh, space of feeling about them but let's go ahead and clarify this three of swords energy for you in terms of their action they are brokenhearted they are devastated again their choice is what can they do should they you know what should they offer you uh, what experiences can they provide for you that is going to make you um, give them another chance the spirit of swords oh we have the king of swords energy your person is operating at genius level my friends aquarius level this person isn't going anywhere they're waiting to spring you see this beautiful panther waiting to spring into action we see the same here with the energy of the spirit of cops that is scorpio the scorpio king energy why is a devil card here why is a devil card here they're not giving up they're obsessed with you period the nine seven of cups they can't even see um how to leave you behind they're totally they have their head in the clouds the seven of cups is someone who sometimes can keep their options open but boy oh boy i think that 
they are not seeing things realistically, the moon card, they feel really taken down for the count. Um, we also get the Nine of Wands. They have fire in the belly to win, the, win you back. So I don't really see them going anywhere. Why do we have the Lover's card here for you? <gasps> oh, that's a Twin Flame card. When we get, this is a number 22. It's unique. Out of all my decks, I don't have a card that comes after the World card. In the Naked Heart Tarot, it does. We have transformation. Your person sees you not only as their soulmate, they see you as their twin flame. So take it as it resonates because your person just feels that they can't, there's nobody else with whom they would be satisfied. So it has been a joy, Sagittarius, doing this reading for you. If you would like to support the channel, and I do need support, I am a new channel. Uh, the likes, the, the subscribes, the, the comments and the likes are what will make YouTube pay attention and push this video out to the public. And without that, we can't grow, literally. So I'm so grateful for my beautiful, lovely subscribers. I'm being very melodramatic, I know, but I can't thank you enough. You have been off the charts good to me and I hope to see you in another reading Sag. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.